questions about Pacquiao Mayweather, man. What do you think? Everybody's wondering if it's going to happen. Tell me your thoughts on it. It's not going to happen. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Seriously, I mean, if 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 the, if, if the journalists actually actually did some real investigating journalism, you know, they say that they've agreed to everything. What? What? Let's just say. Is he coming out in the blue corner or the red corner? Is it Michael Buffer? Is it is it uh, Jimmy Lennon? Is who's going to be who's coming out first? Who's getting announced first? I mean, let, come on, seriously, really? I mean, it's 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 so transparent. It's almost clumsy, um, and and I think it's really disrespectful to to, to parade Manny through all these uh, trivial uh, radio sites to sit there and call out Mayweather. You know, it, it's uh, it's sad. I mean, it's 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 deceptive, and it's and it's to me, it's just straight lying that what Bob Arum is doing, and and it's and it's to me, it's revolting that the fans have to sit there and and, and, and get their hopes up for something that doesn't exist. You know, Floyd said today that on a radio show, he said that it was Bob that was you know preventing this fight from happening. It wasn't even Manny. What have what have they not told us? Do you think the media has been presenting this fairly from both sides? Well, you know, Chavez Sr. said it too, if, if Bob Arum wasn't involved. I mean, you, 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 you have to look, go back and look at history. You know, you look at Oscar De La Hoya. He had to get away from Bob to get the big fights. You look at Miguel Cotto. You look at uh, um, Floyd Mayweather. Now you're looking at uh, Julio Chavez Jr., Mikey Garcia. I mean, you, you, you have to look at the history of this guy who is known for, for not being honest, not being truthful, and... and Julio's been on the shelf for a year. Mikey Garcia's been on. I mean, he's, he has absolutely no heart about the fact that these guys are fighters that have to feed their families. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. But you know what? You guys perpetuate it because you write the same vomit that he spews and you guys lick it up and you write it instead of asking the hard questions. You know, what do you, you agree to? What have you done? You, you're telling us everything, but you're showing us nothing. You know? You think there's any contract or anything involved? They think you're talking about a contract. The same way when, when Donaire was fighting uh, Abner Mares and they said it was $2 million and, and Bob called Schaefer a liar. What did Schaefer do? He put the contract out there on the internet and we all saw it. Well, show us the back of the signatures. Show us the back sheet. Let's see some signatures. What did you agree to? And who are you talking to? You know, you guys, I mean, that's your guys' job. Do some of the, ask the hard questions. You know, or get together and say, hey, you know what? We're not going to write your bullshit anymore because we don't believe you. Because I'm telling you, it, I thought we had until the end of the month. Now they're saying that we're, we're look, what did I say in November? We're fighting, Manny's fighting Jesse Vargas, and we're fighting somebody else in May 2nd. It'll be, you know, and then in November, it'll be Manny versus Mikey Garcia, and then get used to Mikey Garcia 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and whatever. But as long as Bob Arum's in this picture, you're not going to see this fight. And, and, and never mind the fighters, but, I mean, the fans deserve it. And, and, and you know, those are the, they're the ones who are missing out. Manny, he wants to fight. Listen, I don't, mean to, I don't mean to cut you off, bro. You know what? I want to date her, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just saying, look, I'm, my, my, my point is this. You know, this is, it's a lot of this. Let's show some actions. Look at say what you want about Floyd, like him, don't like him. The fact of the matter is, he's putting out the offers. 40 million here. He made the phone calls. He's he's doing the things. Again, this this is this. You know, I'm glad he said he wanted to date her instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, you, have you talked to Floyd about the fight? What does Floyd say about them if it happens? You know what? We we all I know is that that Floyd wants this fight more than ever. That this is something that he's 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 pushing, he's trying, but it's impossible to, to work with Bob. What Bob it's 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 smoke and mirrors, it's misdirection. We say a bunch of this over here, but behind the doors. You know, he's, he's never going to let it happen. He owes four more fights to the Venetian. He pocketed $120 million from the Venetian. You know, I don't know if Manny saw any of that money. So there's no way he's gonna, he can take the How about the simple things? Is there a rematch clause? What gloves are they going to wear? I mean, but it's all vague. Oh, but yet, but yet, we're not allowed to talk about it. We're, there's a non-disclosure. But yet, they're talking about it all the time. You know, so you know, you guys got to call bullshit. I mean, we can only say what we what we what we can when we when we get a forum like this to say it. But you guys are the ones who have to sit there and ask the hard questions and say, you know what? We're not going to write your bullshit until you start showing us some proof. How, how do you compare Manny's training to Mayweather's training? Can you? Yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> uh, you know, I I, I, I I think I one is redundant, and, and I think you know Mayweather is one of those guys 
he surrounds him sur surrounds himself with uh, trying to evolve, trying to take himself to the next level. He's always trying to move forward, and um, you know, uh, look it. If you see one guy who every fighter is looking, bending over backwards and doing whatever they can to get signed with that with that organization, and you see this guy who's everybody's trying to sue and get out of the way, that guy doesn't that tell you something? Yeah. I mean, Julio Chavez Jr. has been on the shelf for a whole year. Mikey Garcia has been on the shelf for a whole year. And he's saying that it's disrespectful to the Mexicans that, 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 that Floyd is fighting on May 2nd. But you guys ride it. You guys perpetuate this nonsense. So, you know, it's, uh, it's up to you guys, you know. I think you, you, know, you guys got to get together, organize yourselves and say, hey, listen, Bob, you know, we call bullshit. What you do you know? think he's going to say when he sees this video? What do you, knowing Bob, what do you think he's going to say? He's out of his mind. <laughs> he's a promotional nightmare. <laughs> you know, he, I don't care. I don't know what he's going to say. You know, he's got one foot on, uh, he's got one foot on a banana peel and another one taking a dirt nap. I mean, and that's the only way we're going to wait until we, well, hopefully these two guys get together and, and, and fight. If no Floyd Mayweather, who do you want to see next for Pacquiao personally? Uh, personally, I don't care. Pacquiao, I got nothing to do with Pacquiao. I couldn't, I couldn't care less, you know. What about for Floyd? Floyd, um, I'd like to see Miguel Cotto. I think that was, I think that was one for me, stylistic-wise. I think that was the best I've ever seen Floyd banging it on the inside, going toe to toe, head to head, and um, I, I, I think that's a, that's a great fight. 160 pounds. I think there's a lot of accolades that go with going. You know, his six world titles, six different division, you know, but, uh, you know, Floyd's, you know, doing what he can to try to make this happen, you know, but uh, as soon as somebody, um, you know, look, at Manny's a politician, you know, that's his job, he's a, he, that's what he does, he knows politics. Call the dude up on the phone, the same way he called you, the same way I would call you and say, hey, listen, man to man, bullshit aside, let's meet at Denny's, write up what you want, let's put our paper on it, let's go on media. Boom, hand in, hand in hand and say, hey, listen, we're together on this. Let's make it happen.